Hello, welcome back. This is Lemmy here on my channel, Lemmy Listen. This is for Venus Retrograde, the second house. Venus likes being in a second house. It's the closest thing to home in a seventh house. So this has to do with being too comfortable or too stubborn in certain areas and you needing a shake up. Um, so you're going to be pulled out of your comfort zone, but it's going to be in another zone that's going to be just as comfortable, but it's not going to be home. It's going to be something that's similar, but not exact. Because Taurus and Capricorn energy trying, and Venus likes to be in this way, so it's auspicious if you want it to be. But yeah, it's time for you to get out of your comfort zone and start doing something else that you like to do but it's to get you out of a routine or a rut that you've been stuck in so when venus moves forward with mars you'll be receiving and doing in unison so you can still have your you know coziness your comfort but it's not going to be at the detriment of you moving forward with your life when it comes to establishing physical or material good so being more watchful about where you invest your money into yourself are you investing into yourself or are you letting your environment tell you how you invest with yourself or into yourself okay definitely money because the second house is physical and cash flow money cash money is something that can be physical but right now it's becoming more digital but it gets you material things so eight of swords this is talking yourself out of something justice card again in the middle we got the nine of wands and the king of swords at the bottom so something is being released there's a message being sent out This has to do with the law, most definitely. I see that. It's a, I want to say it's the same thing as the first house, but instead of you, um, it could be a first house going to talk to a second house. <laughs> but it's like, um, King of Swords is Aquarius energy, Justice is Libra. We got Sag and Gemini here. So all of these signs have to do with communication with something other than themselves and at least one to three people. So um, at the maximum is going to be three people. So... This could be a, like a three-way relationship. Somebody gonna make a choice. Somebody gonna decide what they're gonna do. Are they gonna stick with somebody or are they gonna move on to something else? It could definitely be about a job as well, where you you you're making a comfortable amount of money, but you want to change locations or you want to move somewhere. You need a change in your environment. Make it look better. Who do you need to talk to? A Gemini? Maybe. The magician. Justice. A seven of pentacles. Saturn and Taurus. group of people Ten all together. 
got some breakthrough with the high priestess at the bottom too you already know what you want you just gotta tell these other people what it is you're gonna do but once you capricorn energy commit to that decision with this magician here it's gonna take you a while to build it i mean venus gonna be in capricorn for three months but i mean you're almost at the end of whatever it is you've created or creating for yourself you just ready for it to be over the cycle to be over but there's some details you have to go over first before you can move there before you can move in before you can move there there's some certain details you need to go over first in order for it to be exactly what you manifested you gotta learn how to get along with people better and not be too selfish with conversations being open to what other people have to say you can keep whatever um, goals you have for yourself, but just know that you're not going to be the only person fulfilling your goals and desires and wishes by yourself. It's going to be other things and people that come into your life to support you. So if it's what you really want, be open to, you know, other. With the high priestess energy, period, just be open to other energies coming to assist you. You don't have to do it all alone. I know you're comfortable with doing that way, but you don't have to. Alright. We got the mountain goat cat energy. There's something out of balance in your life, so do whatever you need to correct it exactly. So if you need to, you know, let somebody know, like, what these three people? It's a trio. Everybody needs to hear each other for help. Just because you're listening to someone else talk and seeing their side of you doesn't mean you automatically jump ship off of what you feel is right. Just make sure it's the right thing for you and still hear people out. Because there's one person that may be causing confusion in the group, but at the same time, you high priestess there's something behind the curtain that is going to be unveiled you know that something is out of balance you must stick to your decision unless you're yes meaning yes and you're no mean no even if that includes you being in situations that make you slightly uncomfortable you'll be glad that you moved out your comfort zone and into doing something new and improving than to stay stuck in the same mindset or pessimistic or pessimistic view and you don't learn anything that can actually benefit you more in the long term. But yeah, something is coming to an end. But it's a relief. It's an opportunity for you to take advantage of. See? The magician, like you, you created something in the beginning. Like you thought outside the box, you created something, you consulted with other people, you all put it together. And now you're at the end and you're trying to figure out, is this, did I make the right decision? The Ace of Swords is coming and let you know there's something behind the curtain, High Priestess, that you didn't know about. And boom, Ace, Ace of Wands. It's like you knew this was going to happen. Almost. Because the Magician, in this deck, the Magician is the hand that's giving. So you're here and you're here at the same time. You're in both places. You made the right choice and decision. It's just time for you to start moving like you made the right choice and decision. Be in alignment. Get in alignment. Second house, Venus, retrograde. Get in alignment. You have an opportunity to get into alignment with these people, with yourself. And then you can be in alignment with those people. When you're in alignment, allow people to listen. Allow yourself to listen, I'm sorry, to them. And then you're listening with your alignment. You're listening with your alignment. And then you can take that wherever you go. Your comfort zone is in alignment, not on the couch, not in food, not in a relationship, not in money. Your comfort zone is in your alignment. 
and allow other people to be in their comfort zone as well. You're gonna try to control it. Second house Venus, that's what I have for you during this retrograde season. See you later.